Now coming to a very important topic which is phyllotaxy. Phyllotaxy is the arrangement of leaves on the stem. First type of phyllotaxy is alternate. When we have alternate arrangement of leaves on the stem, which we generally see, then we call it alternate. Opposite. If two leaves are just opposite to each other, then we call it opposite phyllotaxy. World. If there are whorls of leaves at each nodes, then we call it world. Now last and most important is spiral phyllotaxy. Spiral. If leaves are arranged spirally on the stem, then we call it spiral phyllotaxy. This spiral phyllotaxy follows simple and brown series of maths, which is one by two, one by three, two by five, three by eight, five by thirty-nine, and so on. If one by two spiral phyllotaxy is there, then we call it diastichous phyllotaxy. Means in three sixty degree rotation movement on the stem, we are having just two leaves. So angular divergence is three sixty by two is means one eighty degree. In tri in tri stitches similarly we have angular divergence of one twenty degree and in penta stitches we will have the phyllotaxy of around one forty four degree angular divergence. Now coming to inflorescence, inflorescence is the arrangement of flowers on the main stem or flowering axis or rachis. Now there are two types of arrangement. Acropetal arrangement is known as racemose inflorescence and if the flowers are arranged basipetally then we call it cymose inflorescence. Basipetal means The young flower is at base. E example: Samos. Now we are coming to indefinite mode, in, indefinite growth type of inflorescence, which we call racemose, where flowers are arranged acropetally. Now first modification is raceme. Example: We saw in Cruciferi, we are having this spike. Example: Rice, wheat, spadix. Example: Calocasia, Colocasia. In this, we have spathe around the the inflorescence. catkin example mulberry plant spikelet again example rice corymb if main flowering axis is condensed and all flower are the same type hence we call it corymb example in iberis amara or we called candida plant umbel example brahmi brahmi plant sansella asiatica or header capsulum example plain marigold or sunflower now coming to cymose inflorescence where main axis is Condensed where flowering axis stops growth by terminal flower. It is of three types. First, uniparous means at each stop we are having only one flower. So there are of two types. First is helicoid and second is scorpoid. In scorpoid we are having scorpion type of movement. So there are of two types: helicoid and scorpoid. In scorpoid, example is helitropium. Species and in helicoid we are having. Hemelia species. Now coming to bifurcous climb. At each stop of the old flower, we are having two bifurcation example in jasmine and multiparous example in calotropis. Now coming to the compound inflorescence, compound inflorescence which is which is group of simple type of that inflorescence example compound raceme. We have in mage plant where we have tassel group of female flower and male flowers. Then comp comes compound spadix example in coconut. Comes compound corymb, example in pyrus malus or apple pear peach palm, compound number example corymbum satyrum or dhania what you call. So two are very important compound corymb and compound number for PMT point of view. Now coming to a special type of inflorescence. First is hypothyroidium example in fig plant means ficus species. Here we are having male female and neutral ya gal flowers. Similarly we have centium inflorescence example for pear species. And what is lesser, which is difficult to be understand, is example Osimum tulsi or Salvia flower. Uh, now, friends, coming to flower and families. In this, why we study flower? We study flower to explain the different families, because the basis of classification nowadays of a just form lies in families. So we group the different different families according to the characteristic found in their flower. So now, what we have here in this. We describe any family on the basis of the flower only. Example: Suppose a Malve, suppose Malvesi family. This is this family is of cotton, cotton, bindi. Okay. So what we have diagnostic characteristic of family is it is having mucilage in its part. So now coming to first, the, this symbol denotes the condition of flower. If it is cut in equal parts from all plants, then we call it actinomorphic. If not from only one plant, then we call it zygomorphic. Now see what we have is this is for bisexual. It has apical axis, means a world of sepal 
above the sepal hence we call it apical is 6 to 7 it has calyx which contains sepals which are united hence we call it gamosepals and bracket lies here if corolla corolla is 5 they have, are having two state estimation they are free hence we call it polypetalous now endosium they are in one bundle hence we call it monadelphus they are arranged on a staminal tube but staminal tube and corolla are linked hence what we call it epipetalous condition now gynosium is hypogynous means ovary superior pentalocular but syncarpus ovary having exile presentation so this denotes the family malvesi so here we have the floral formula and floral diagram is written as such the center of symmetry is known as mother axis apical is denoted as like this calyx is denoted calyx is denoted like this it is having uh, valvate estivation corolla is having twisted estivation attached to it is petal is, is androsium world of androsium which we call a staminal tube and at center we are having ts of ovary which denotes the condition of gynosium similarly we can explain the cruciferi family or brassicaceae family it's having the uh, uh, condition actinomorphic bisexual calyx is 2 plus 2 but separate corolla is 4 cruciform diagnostic characteristic of this family is tetramus is time in two outer is shorter and four uh, inner is longer gynosium is 2 syncarpus ovary this ovary is unilocular but becomes two due to the false septum known as raplam Seeds are parietally arranged. Similarly, in legumacy or fibacy, we have we have the zygomorphic condition, which can't be divided into only in two parts. Then we have bisexual calyx is five, syncarpus, corolla is having a special estimation valvet where one is standard of axillum, two is wings, and the inner two is keel or carina, which is fused. Now endosium is one plus nine, diadal but condition exists here, and gynosium is one, syncarpus ovary having the placentation which is very important part of this family this placentation is marginal presentation now in poesy we are having again zygomorphic here bisexual condition perianth is world of sepal plus petal known as tepal it, it is modified into lodicle sometime and we see maybe three or three plus three as in rice then what we have given a single ovary superior hair is stigma is present there now coming to fruit most important part of this fruit is the fruit is the edible part which must be cramped by each spread now fruit is of two types dry and fleshy in fleshy fruit we are having three types simple fruit like droop mango coconut pepo cucurbita pepo pom like apple which is a false fruit now similar hesperidium like in nimbu where we eat juicy placental hair compound fruit which is mixture of fruits like compound akin is strawberry compound berry is is our anona escomada similarly we have composite fruit which are of two types sorosin and synchronous say sorosin and synchronous now lastly we are having the dry fruit which example which are of the four type dicent which is brushed by itself example legumes capsule non dicent example like keys nuts and cyzocarpic which splits in fragment example we are having this acacia arabica that's all